Hi, Pudi Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Jibaku Shonen Hanoko Kan, aka Toilet Bath Hanoko Kan, Chapter 82. So, before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and a kickin', um, feel free to donate to my Cash Up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. Uh, so, last chapter of Hanoko Kan, um, we basically all but confirm that Katakuri is number six, that the pit and, you know, the Red House is the gateway to the underworld, aka the pit being the underworld, which we already knew. And um, it'll be interesting to see if we get, when, you know, of course, Teru and Akane arrive, the Orpheus and the underworld realness that I really, really want. And also when, you know, Sukasa told his story of what happened and he basically said he was Martyr. Who was not having any of that shit? And he gave some tough love and, ooh, I totally can relate to that shit because I had that same kind of lecture when I attempted suicide many a times. And um, it, it's really goddamn true because you don't think about the bigger picture. You don't think about how it's going to affect your family. You don't, you don't think about that shit. And just like in The Elusive Samurai, it was in vain really was. Well, at least Tokiyuki's intervention was in vain. Poor Tokiyuki, I feel bad. Because them dumbass motherfuckers went and got themselves killed anyway. And they didn't even get the fucking Triforce either. Mm. Anyway, um, I'll, and I totally realized just now how much of a karma colada I was served to. <laughs> a morbid karma colada! Oh my god! It was very, very morbid. Ah, uh, the universe just works in the most twisted and mysterious ways is all I'm going to say. Let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this month. And we got a gorgeous cover page here. This chapter is titled The Red House Part 7. And look at this family. A certain family's portrait. I love the morbidity of this. I love the color palette. I love, I should say this, I love the gothic feel of this art. I do. And the best part is, of course, look at Tsukasa. you got that shadow going on here. And he's smiling while Kanoko is frowning in the foreground. Love it. Love it. Love it. Um, the words Ku spoke um, Hinoko, Yuki Imani um, died when he was 13 after he killed his little brother. Amani is going to kill me? K Kukan, you don't have to tell him that, and that's why I'll do something to make sure that doesn't happen. Yes! Kuu! What do you mean? The Yuki Tsukasa that we know uh, looks the same age as Hanoko, right? Even though the one, um, uh, even though this one says that he's always been here. That's, that's weird. If this one is over here, then what on earth is the little brother Hanoko killed? Could it be that Tsukasa-kun is a fake and might not be Hanoko-kun's younger brother? That's a good... I think that's the question we've all been wondering. Who is this Tsukasa that we've been seeing this entire time if that is Tsukasa? I'm so lost. I'm so lost by this. Um, maybe, if anything, it's possible that he killed him exactly because... <gasps> Exactly because he wasn't his little brother. Holy shit! Remember? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Now I understand. Remember what we saw back at the temple and, and what the priest told um, told Teru and Akane? <gasps> That's probably what it was. Oh my god, I don't know why it didn't hit me until just now. Holy shit, but that's probably what it was. Oh my god. But that means if we can return this one uh, to where he was originally, back to his family, then maybe that guy won't kill his younger brother. Hanoko-kun couldn't, have, it couldn't exist. Um, Hanoko-kun could exist without um, having ever killed anyone? And then that would change the future and maybe even this current situation. You think so? You think so? But how do we get him back to Hanoko-kun? Uh, that's the problem here, huh? Yeah. Oh. Just, what is this house anyway? It looks different from the red house we entered through. That, woo, that said, it's not like the house that um, the Rod lived in was a place like this, was it? Present day, uh, it's a, um, 
remember this was over 50 years ago he and Hanukkah kind of lived in. Both the arrow and uh, space are all messed up. It feels mo more like a boundary of anything. No shit, it's a boundary. Um, but it's not. But it's not actually won my ass. It is a boundary, you fucking morons. Past, present, hmm, time paradox. Bringing a person back from the past. Okay, for now, let's get out of this house with a run and try asking Teruni. Um, when in doubt, meet up in front of the Defendable Nichon. When in doubt, meet up on Teru. That's right, we, can, we can't stay here forever after all. <gasps> Wait a minute. Does that mean we need a Ka We might need a Kane for this, because remember, a Kane has his power. Or he may not have his power anymore. Wait. Wait, 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 No, 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 no. But that thing's getting even more sus, though. What happened? Then who brought back... Then... Someone had to send. Then, 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 uh, then, Anoko had to sacrifice something to the Red House to bring Sukasa back because Sukasa was dead, right? Who did he sacrifice? What, what did Anoko sacrifice for this? Something very sus here. I don't. Mm. Something just, ugh, something very sus about this whole thing. Oh my god. So that, so that's it. Um, you're leaving this house together with us. Um, then, uh, you could go back to where you used to be and keep on living with your brother. With Amane? That's right, I'm sure he'll be happy to have you back. Um, uh, will he really? Amane is happier without me. Did he tell you that himself? Just because you're twins doesn't mean that you know everything about your older brother, does it? Yeah. He might say he hates you when you a guys fight or something, but it's only in the moment. If you're together from now on, you'll get along just fine in the future, won't you? Ah! Yeah. Whoa! I might not know everything. Maybe I'll go back. I've started to miss Amane. Sukasakan. Is it shaking? Senpai! Uh-oh. The house not happy. What? What the? Eh? The wall? The walls? Oh, no! Senpai, um, take the run to get out of this room. Uh, okay. Oh, damn it, why is this happening all of a sudden? Is it because we're trying to get the run out of here? Well, no! What was your first clue? Oh. Oh, they got out. Kukan, are you hurt? I, I, I thought that was it for me. I'm sorry for making you push yourself so hard. I'll do everything I can next time. Um, next time too. But since we're outside the room now, it should be fine. Uh, you shouldn't have said shit, Needy, because it's not fine now. Uh, we're gonna be crushed. Exit. The exit. Where's the exit? Damn it! It's slowly trying to kill us for real now. Kukan, are you okay? Are you going to die? Like hell, I am, idiot. Just, oh, just go think of things you want to do when you get back to your brother. Okay, then how about, oh, that's right, I want to go to the summer festival. Nichan, did you know? Whoa, um, near where I live, there's something called this, uh, the Star Festival. They've got huge fireworks and there's lots of people. It seems fun. Is that, oh, I want to go with the money. Whoa, I could cry. Sukasa, you are just too pure for this world. Like, can, can I just protect him forever, please? Sukasa Khan, that's right. He's been in this strange place all by himself this whole time. He must have been lonely. I need to protect him. Like, I, can't, I, can't, I can't. I can't with this. I can't. I'm going to cry. I can't with the cuteness. Where is my cat? Where's my cat? This would be the time where my therapy cat comes in over here and, and gives me lots of snuggles. Oh, where he is. So your timing sucks right now. Mm. Should we rest? Oh my god. We made it this far, so we might be okay for a while. Should we rest for a bit? Sure, but this might be a dead end. Shoot. Um, shoot, we should turn back. Right. Let's go, Runt. Uh, Kukan! Oh no! Ouch! Oh! 
Senpai? Uh, are you okay? I'll get this off of you now. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Huh? My leg! Oh no! Go this isn't funny anymore! Kukan, uh, Ryan, you'll get crushed! Uh, there's no way I could do that! This thing, stop! Ooh! Tsukasa! Mm -hmm. This room is going back to normal. You see, I saw it earlier. It was avoiding the fire, so I thought that maybe it hated it. <laughs> Good for us, huh? Nice one, Run. That's amazing. Thanks, Tsukasa Khan. You're so smart. Such a good boy. Such a good boy. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that we know its weakness, weakness, it's not so scary anymore. Simba, can you walk? Yeah, somewhat. Mm -hmm. Hey, isn't that the entrance we came came in from? Yay! The exit. Simba, hold on to my so uh, shoulder. Thanks, Kukan. Run. You can you can walk on your own. Okay. Can we hold hands? Guess I've got no choice, huh? Hey, when I get home, I'm gonna write a letter to Kukan and Nini-chan. A letter? I'm glad you came to see me. Uh, we're, we're outside! Yay! Yay, we made it out alive! But for now, you're also... Huh? Kukan, look! The house... The house is falling apart! <gasps> no! Why is it burned to the ground? Runt, where are you? Sukasakan, uh, Sukasakan, run! Sukasakan, come out! Bye bye, Kukan. The truth is, I already know how to go home. Um, I just never went home because I thought I shouldn't. Are you going back? Yep, I'm gonna stop holding back now. Let's go back together, since Kukan told me about the Amani that I don't know. Amani is gonna die when he's 13 after killing me. Go on adventures too, like out uh, out of the country into space. Amani, do you love me? Of course I do. Amani is gonna die when he's thirteen. After killing me, even though his wish finally came true, he's gonna make a mess of it all. Amani, you weirdo. As I thought, I really do want to know more about Amani now. I wonder how he'll kill me. I can't wait. Wait a minute, what? Hold up a sec! Hold up. Hold up a sec. think that that darkness that's inside Tsukasa that that that's got to be the thing that killed killed him on that's got to be the thing that that um that killed him uh, that killed him on a I wonder if that darkness that came out was Tsukasa's desires oh my god that would make so much sense because remember what the Red House is. I don't know why I didn't think about this sooner. The Red House is a house of desire. Kind of like the Red Light District being, you know, and what red represents, well, I, let me start from here. Remember what the color, no, remember what the color red represents. Red represents love, lust, desire, temptation, burning passion. And in this case, and, and remember what we found out with the Red House, the Red House granted any wish the occupant wanted. And we saw it. We saw it with Sukasa as well. And I wonder if that darkness that we saw here inside of Sukasa, I wonder if that was his temptation. His des not temptation, that's the wrong word. That was his desire. And the thing that killed, or, you know, the thing that ended up killing Amane was his desires, his, the, um, his desire, the incarnation of Sukasa's desires. Because remember, remember when we went to the temple and we saw Sukasa there, um, and he was, and, uh, the priest was saying that the, that, and the, or first of all, the mother, their mother said that. That wasn't her kid. 
that's when probably he be Sukasa became the vessel like a, a vessel of desires he became the spirit of the red house the spirit of desire and temptation Ooh. I can see that I can honestly see it because in a way Sukasa was like a demon he was and remember what demons are demons are the embodiment of temptation I can honestly believe this I'm really curious what you guys think do you guys think that that's what killed ultimately killed Amane well slash Noko it was Sukasa it was um the incarnation of Sukasa's desire that um, a demon that it that's what it was. It was the Red House taking, um, taking like physical form. Hmm. Or uh, there's got to be something else to, or it could be something else to it as well. Like, like uh, Hinoko may have uh, may have made a wish. Hmm. Hmm. I want to read this again. Um, the truth is, I already know how to go home. I just never went home because I thought I shouldn't. Are you going back? Yep, I'm going to stop holding back now, too. Let's go back together. Since Kukan told me about the Imani that I don't know. Imani is going to die when he's 13 after killing me. Um, Imani is going to die when he's 13 after killing me. Even though his wish finally came true, he's going to make a mess of it all. Amani, you weirdo. As I thought, I really do want to know more about Amani now. There is something more to this deal that Tsukasa made with the Red House that we do not know. There's something more to it than just his life. I'm very curious what you guys think in regards to it. Hmm. I wonder if it's the same deal that um, Katakuri was. Oh, I wonder if it's the same deal that he was offering Ku. That I wonder if that's what it is. Cause remember, remember what um, uh, the whole thing with Katakuri. Um, that the whole thing Katakuri made, um, that offer with, uh, Ku, you know, to make Ku a supernatural. I wonder if that's what it was. Ooh. I'm curious if that's what it was. If the, if, what do you guys think in regards to that? If you sacrifice yourself for someone else and this is how you become a supernatural then there's also another price that comes with it. There's another catch that comes with being a supernatural. Especially if you make one with, uh, with Katakuri. Oh, this is going to come back. Oh, damn straight. This is going to come back. I'm very curious what you guys think in uh, regards to this do you guys think that you know the one the the um sukasa that we saw that the priest was talking about was like was um was the incarnation of, me, of sukasa's desires was it like a was it like this demon that what or was it like actually i'm sorry i should say this was it the red house in physical form that to me makes the most sense that the res the red house took physical form because that's what happens when you sacrifice your life for someone else's life that has to be what it is just something tells me i'm really curious what you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdy and think if you love what i'm doing i want to help keep this um uh, channel alive and kicking so I could keep bringing you more Hanoka kun content. There's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, uh, from me on PlayStation Network, and that is on the way home as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.